a driver. Hey, you're into the old, right? I want your help providing a part of the XP car system. Those watch. 400 meters. Hey, Ellie. How can I help? Jump in the buggy. I'll tell you the story on the way. Ramiro was looking through old things at his father's home last week, and he found this photo. He gave it to me, said I might enjoy it, but I don't think he realized what he was. My friend, what would you say are the two most important things in Mexican culture? Uh, family and... Food, family and art, family and music. <laughs> Close. Familia and the Volkswagen Beetle. Bocho is the Mexican nickname. My bisabuelo Fernando was the first Torres to own one. And thanks to that photo, I think I know where it is. Seriously? Let's go find it. His abuelo means great-grandfather, but in the family, he's just Papa Fernando. We never met, but everyone says I'm exactly like him. <laughs> Loca por auto. You have to understand, in Mexico, oh, <laughs> this is definitely the place. But, no sé, why would Papa Fernando bring the bocho up here? The storms can get tremendas. Let me just get the door. Is that key? <laughs> it's really here. <laughs> we found it for you, Papa Fernando. But look at it. I've never seen a beetle like that. Oh, the weather's closing in. I don't like the look of the roads around here. You drive the truck. Got it. I'll have to put in a new batteria, plenty of oil, llantas, or electrico. Oh, this is gonna be hard, even for me. <laughs> it's a beetle. Bet it starts first go. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised. for roadworks. The roads look open just now. Maybe we'll be lucky. Ah, maybe not so lucky after all. Ah, looks like roadworks. Can you find a way past it? Hmm. I think I can manage that. <laughs> That's one way through. What are you gonna do with it? I have muchas ideas. That's the thing about a bocho. It's not just a car. It's a lifestyle. the truck here I'll take care of the rest what did I tell you finding lost cars isn't magic it takes good luck hard work and sometimes a drone <laughs> Ooh, my friend the hard work is just getting started call you soon hola 
amigo. I've been working on the bocho and learning more about Papa Fernando. Come meet me when you have time. I'll show you what I mean. Turn around when it's just safe to do so. Recalculating route. You have arrived at your destination. Hola. What do you think? Ah, very nice. Where's the Vocho? Oh, I'm taking my time with it. Don't worry, Superstar. Sometimes sock tampoco está tan mal. May the best mechanical win. <laughs> ah, so that's how it is. Okay, then. garage. Call me. Go on, amigo. Guess who has the watch running as well as it did in 1963? It would be really good for some rally driving. We could do that here. If you prefer rally cross and showing off some Gymkhana skills, we could do that here. You choose and meet me there. I want to see how the watcher handles Jim Kana. Y tú? On my way. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> what do you think? Mi tío Victor told me Papa Fernando used to race around Guanajuato before Street Scene, before Horizon, before they even called it Gymkhana. It looks great. Can I? You bet. This is a great area for some Gymkhana. I've set up a course. Show me what you and the Bocho can do. Right, Anale. I've started the timer. Let's do this. Working on it, I found some mounting bolts up on the chassis. I think he was messing with the ride height somehow. Not sure why yet, but he was way ahead of me. It's time with his car.
fantastic driving. Feel free to, you know, stop. I really wonder what he was trying to do with this car. <laughs> I'll get you back up on the lift and have another look. It seems like this car really does run in the family. <laughs> you have no idea. Hola, amigo. Mi familia has been coming to visit the Wocho while I've been working on it in the shop. They've told me the most amazing stories you wouldn't believe. Tío Oscar says Papa Fernando actually drove for a rally team for a while. He competed in the Baja, maybe even Dakar. We could recreate one of his runs. Tia Sofia told me he once put his bocho through the roof of a building. We could recreate his jumps. Probably leave out the building, though. Your choice. I'll take care of the setup. Meet me at this danger sign. It's uh, away from any buildings. <laughs> On my way. You have arrived at your destination. Hey there, ready to do a jump? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Judging by the clawing I found on the under tray, it's not the first time this watcher has jumped off something. Can't wait. Got a route for me? He's waiting. Go. <laughs> Wow, you okay? Yeah, actually. I kind of want to go again. Oh well, another time though. <laughs> Papa Fernando was a daredevil. De veras. He definitely got into some trouble in his day. And the watcher wasn't innocente either. He was just testing his capabilities, Ale. You can understand that. <laughs> you know, you're right. This is what good mechanicals do. I made it back to the garage. Speak soon. Hola, amigo. I found Papa Fernando in an old car magazine. It has mucha información on the work he did to the bocho. I can't wait to try some of this stuff out. For fast handling and corners, we could go here. Or for straight line speed, here. There's a speed trap here. I bet it's never seen a bocho like ours. Arrive at your destination. <laughs> Take a look at this. I like it. I don't understand it, but I like it. Get in and I'll explain. Whoa! This thing can really move. Right? I've got a route laid in for you. Go for it. You can stop now. <laughs> I fixed the brakes. That was fantastic. This thing is fast. 
It's really special, right? Just wait till you see what Papa Fernando did with it next. It's me again. You think you can get a bocho sideways? I've been playing around with the wheel angle. Meet me here if you want to get your drift on. I've also got an idea for an assault course. Let's meet here if you want to try that. You're gonna like this assault course. If I ever finish setting it up. Turn around. It's just safe to do so. You have arrived at your destination. Ah, just in time. We're ready for you. Yeah? I really wanted to see what this car can do, agility-wise. So, I built you a challenge course. Want to give it a shot? Definitely. Hmm, <laughs> I thought so. Get in. I'll get you up to speed. We set up a bunch of ramps and obstacles all around here. Follow your route and get through it as fast as you can. <laughs> That was quite the show. I'm gonna to need to feel a couple of dents, but that's the good thing with the watcho. You just get your hammer and some hot water. <laughs> this is a great car. Your great granddad would have loved to have seen it, I'm sure. 
<laughs> Definitely. A pity we can't show him. Never mind, get out of here. I'll call you soon. Go on, amigo. One more thing I want from the Bocho. A photograph, so the memories last even longer than a Volkswagen Beetle. I can think of a couple of places. The place where Papa Fernando left it for us to find, or the Baja where he did all his off-road racing. What do you think? Mm-hmm. He would have wanted to see it running free in the Baja. Meet me. at your destination. I took off all the mods and extras, just like the day Papa Fernando bought it in 1963. Puro bocho original. Still one of the coolest looking cars ever. <laughs> Very well. Now, let's take it back. So long as we don't lose it again. Not just all the bocho stunts and races, connecting with mi familia and Papa Fernando. When we're driving this car, it really feels like he's here with us, no? I'm going to hang his picture right next to the one we take so he can always watch over me in el taller. I understand. I really appreciate you sharing this with me. It's nothing, really. I'm sure he'd have liked you too. Vamos. Let's get the photo while we still have the light. Perfecto. When you took a photo here, it was the end. But for us, it's just the beginning. I want to say muchísimas gracias for everything. We always put Papa Fernando's picture on the ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos. This year, I'll have a lot to say to him. Tell him the bocho is in safe hands. It will be. Abuela Rosa says her papa would want the bocho to go to a racer just like him. And I agree. So, it's yours now. What? Ale, no. <laughs> Just promise you'll always bring it back to my taller. Now get out of here. You have a hall of fame to enter. That should give Papa Fernando and I time to work on more ideas. Saludos again. 
Remember our stock versus scratch race where I beat you by about los millas? <laughs> Not how I remember it. Papa Fernando said a racer should be their own mecanico. Well, I have the ultimate test. Come and meet me. Destination. So, what do you have planned, Ellie? <laughs> nada, nada. Well, I did get a hold of a bare VW Beetle chassis, and I have built something from scratch. Papa Fernando would probably think I've gotten a little bit loca. And you've got a Koenigsegg here, too, because... Because we're going to race them, of course. This time I get stuck and don't hold anything back. <laughs> I think you set this whole thing up just so you can say hyperbocho. <laughs> Maybe I did. If you like, bring your watcher down to the auto show sometime and I'll show you how to customize it. <laughs> Familia has organized a small exhibit of Papa Fernando's things at the outpost. You should take un vistazo. He sounds like a great guy. I wish I'd known him. Abuelita Rosa told me about the first time Papa Fernando saw a Volkswagen Beetle. 
when they brought them to Mexico in 1954 to race the Carrera Panamericana. It looks great. Can I? You bet. I've marked up a nice rally route for you. I'll be your co-driver. Easy left into easy left. Right, then easy left. Easy right, don't cut, then over a jump. Easy right, then over a jump. Easy right, then sharp left. Jump, then water, into sharp right and surface change. Imagine taking this tres mil kilometros across Mexico back in the 50s. Papa Fernando said it was proof the Bocho could do anything. Sounds like a great guy. I wish I'd known him. Some more modifications. I've tried to get it as close as possible to how Papa Fernando and a rally team would have built it. Really? <laughs> What's the problem? You don't think they would have taken a little modern technology if it made the Bocho go faster? Just get in and hang on. <laughs> Understood. Rowdy set. I'll call out waypoints as we go. Are you ready for a time trial? <laughs> I'm ready for anything in this. Nice slide. Wait, wait, one, andale. Hey, watch the body work. I just feel that. Papa Fernando races Ocho, he raced it hard. I replaced the tray and rebuilt the shock. Should be good. How's the handling? Uh, it's good. Busy now, though. Got another waypoint for you. 
find a driver named Fernando Torres in the records for the Baja 500 or the Baja 1000. But that doesn't mean he didn't enter. What about the Dakar? Africa is a long way for a little bocho. Maybe that was just a story he told to Uncle Oscar and the other kids in the family. I know I would have sat and listened to him for hours. Hmm. Official or not, he must have been quite a racer. See, si, he was. Vamos. I've done a bit of work on this. I think it's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> it looks quick. And there's a speed camera just up the road. Ooh, I like what you're thinking. The route's played in. Andale, vamos. This thing can really go. How did you come up with this idea? It wasn't my idea. I mean, not entirely. <laughs> when I was cleaning out the engine, I found scoring around the air filters. My papa Fernando had been widening them to improve the aspiration. He didn't have a turbo to put in. <laughs> but you obviously did. Yup. Like... I love this car. <laughs> you better go back and find them then. I'll call you soon. Your destination. Hey, Ale. Hey, Bocho. I only changed the wheel angle and suspension a little. Okay, I changed the suspension a lot. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Let's start with a tour of Guanajuato. I wonder if your Papa Fernando ever did this kind of thing. Maybe. Maybe even on these streets. Get these things. We'll never know. Don't worry about the tires, I have spares.
¡Qué chido! Bring it in and let's get you those new tires. <laughs> you look like you had fun with that. But wow, I'm really gonna need new tires. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit carried away. Don't worry about it. I've got loads of spares back at the shop. Talk soon. Original condition, just like when it rolled out of La Fabrica in the 60s. You like it? That's a classic look. What about the upgrades, though? <laughs> Don't worry, all the upgrades are safe. We can put them back on anytime. I wanted to take a nice picture of the car. Ah, yes, natural habitat of the vulture. First beetle in my family, but it wasn't the last. I owned one, Ramiro owned one. Maybe, <laughs> this sounds stupid, but maybe we carry the spirit of our Papa Fernando with us, you know? Or maybe it's just a Mexican thing. That's really nice, Alejandra. Probably a Mexican thing too, though. <laughs> Definitely a Mexican thing. Come on, come on, get the photo already. If it was in black and white, it could be Papa Fernando on race day. Me encanta. I want to say muchísimas gracias for everything. We always put Papa Fernando's picture on the ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos. This year, I'll have a lot to say to him. Tell him the bocho is in safe hands. It will be. Papa Fernando says the bocho belongs to me now. I can do whatever I want with it. So, I'm giving it to you. What? Ale, no. <laughs> Just promise you'll always bring it back to my garage. Now get out of here. Papa Fernando and I have some ideas to work on. I'll call you. 